Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. You may have noticed over the past few days that there has been some information released on a variety of hacks and cheats that's been going on within the game. Now some of these are pretty significant, in fact they are very significant as they dramatically change the way the game is played. And the first of these was revealed by Commander Plater over on his YouTube channel. You can see a video linked in the description below, do go check it out. Now I do want to say up front that I'm not going to post any screenshots in this video. I'm not going to post how to go and get these cheats or anything like that. Because obviously we don't really want to spread wide use of these. But it, uh, people basically want to make everyone aware of what's going on. And that the fact that these do actually exist. So if you do want more details, then I urge you to go and see the videos that I'm going to discuss here, as well as have a look at a Reddit post that's also been released. Now, the hack that Commander Plater talks about is fairly significant. It basically allows you to have infinite shields, infinite heat sinks, change and improve the movability of your ship, and many other things besides. However, this isn't the least of it. There's also a number of other hacks out there. These ones are perhaps potentially far more serious because they're that much harder to detect. Now this particular hack allows you to customize and modify all the modules of your ship. You can set your own tolerances, your own limits, sometimes exceeding way beyond what the ship should actually be capable of. Now this has been revealed by Commander Exidius. You can go and check that out on his YouTube channel. Like I say, I won't be showing details here but Commander Exigius does go into far more detail, especially talking about how it affects the game in terms of PvE and other aspects. Now, if you do want to go into even more detail and find more information about this, then head on over to Reddit, where you can find a post by a Redditor Ryan, who is a member of SDC. Now, SDC and Ryan are the prime movers here in trying to get this disclosed and this information revealed. Basically, it has been going on for a very long time, these hacks. Some of them have been around for six months, some of them have been around for ten months, and yeah, they're causing problems, no doubt about it. The post over on Reddit goes into a lot of detail. Again, it doesn't show you where you can get these hacks or how to access them. It doesn't really give you any details like that, but it does show what they can do and essentially how they function. Now, one of the big issues about all of this is whether or not this information should have perhaps been kept secret. Should it not have been revealed to the public? Obviously, it has been available to those in the know for a very long time. But the general consensus seems to be that with the knowledge out there, with this information out there, it's going to make it that bit harder for the hackers and the cheaters to actually get away with using this because more people are going to be aware that these things actually exist and therefore be keeping an eye out for this. Now another issue here, very much related, is people's feelings and opinions on Frontier's stance towards the hacking and the cheating that seems to be quite prevalent and having been going on for quite a long time now. Ryan's post over on Reddit actually goes into some detail on this, showing that the fact that they had submitted this information to Frontier quite a long time ago and actually even goes as far as showing the screenshot and all the details and information that they actually collected together and had submitted to Frontier. And again, for the full details on this, do go check out the Reddit post. There's a lot there to take in and a lot there to see. Commander Exigius also goes into a lot of detail on how he feels Frontier are handling this, along with the impact that the overall cheating is having on the game, both in terms of PvE, as well as the overall background simulation and the solo experience, as well as open and private groups. So yes, in short, right now there's very much a serious problem going on with hacking and cheating in Elite Dangerous. The extent of it is generally unknown and how Frontier have dealt with this in terms of how many people they have banned or haven't banned is also unknown. However, the short of it is that there are a number of hacks out there. One of them allows you to have infinite shields and many things like that. This is perhaps slightly easier detectable. The other hack is far more serious in that it essentially allows you to fully customize all the modules on your ships. So like I say, for more details, do check out the links in the video description below. These are from Commander Plater, Commander Exigius, and Ryan over on Reddit with his post. Personally, I think it's a great shame to see this sort of thing going on. Uh, it's unfortunate. I hope no one goes out their way to actually try and use this, but, you know, people being people, it's bound to happen. But I also hope that Frontier are able to deal with this and fix it in some way. I have reached out to them. Uh, they are aware of it, and they are conducting investigations into it. But maybe we'll get an official statement from them over the next few days or so. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.